Chinese Communist Party is planning to replicate Russia's war model of Donetsk and Luhansk for grabbing two Taiwan islands militarily in next four months. According to media reports, quoting Chinese experts, the decision is taken in the Badehi vacation gathering of the CCP's top leaders led by Xi Jinping. Takeover of these two islands would be with least resistance from Taiwan and would not immediately escalate war. Meanwhile, amid worsening economic crisis in China, the attack on Taiwan islands will give an alibi to Xi Jinping to declare wartime economy, forcing people to live life as in North Korea. The next attack will be launched to capture Wukyu Island, followed by attack on Dongsha Island and Taiping Island in the South China Sea before the full-fledged attack or an all-out war on Taiwan. The second big decision is to replace the portrait of Mao Zedong by that of Xi Jinping at Tiananmen Guitar from October 1st, the Chinese National Day. You will see slogans of long live Xi Jinping. Long live Xi Jinping launched across China very soon. Hello and welcome. My name is Shailesh Kumar and you are watching National Defense. First of all, the location of these two islands, Kinmen and Matsu Islands, favors China in any military action. If you take a careful look at the locations of these islands, then Kinmen Island is just 1.8 kilometers from Jiaoyu in Dadeng State, Ziangen District, under the jurisdiction of the People's Republic of China. The Kinmen Island is about 6 miles from Xiamen City, where Xi Jinping once served as the vice mayor. But it is 130 miles from the main island of Taiwan. So the location completely favors Xi Jinping's mainland China. Now, have a look at the second island, that is Matsu, which is located in the eastern border of Lianxiang County, Fuzhou city in Fujian province. Matsu Island is just around 6 miles from mainland China, but about 550 kilometers from Taiwan. Chinese experts say that Xi Jinping might have already made the decision to attack Kinmen and Matsu during the Baidehi meetings. Experts say Capturing Kinmen and Matsu aligns with CCP's interest. Unlike a direct attack on Taiwan Island, this action poses almost no military risks. Firstly, in terms of timing. The Europe and West is deeply embroiled in Russia-Ukraine war, while CCP is grappling with an economic crisis at home. Attacking Kinmen and Matsu would least likely trigger a West or US military response, allowing CCP to capitalize on wartime conditions to try to dodge its own economic crisis. That would mean Chinese people will be forced to live in poverty and under restrictions like North Korean people. Secondly, if we see geographically, Kinmen guards Xiamen Sea Passage and Matsu guards Fuzhou's Minjiang River Passage. These islands are like two fists extended from Taiwan, blocking mainland China's coastal waters. Seizing these islands would provide CCP with a strategic foothold for launching an all-out offensive against Taiwan in future. Experts say the attack, if we see in terms of public sentiments, Xi Jinping is facing political and economic crisis, attacking Kinmen and Matsu would fuel nationalist sentiments, rallying patriotic fervor, which would help stabilize his regime. On the other hand, Kinmen and Matsu are distant from Taiwan, but close to mainland China. These islands have historically been a stronghold of blue camp of Taiwan, which is more pro-CCP, the Chinese CCP. By guesstimate, 60 to 70 percent people of the Kinmen are pro-CCP. So taking Kinmen and Matsu won't likely encounter much local resistance. Moreover, taking these 
islands militarily would be a cakewalk for PLA as these islands have limited defense capabilities, controlling and stabilizing ground situations afterwards for administrative purpose would also be very easy. Inherently, the defense of Kinmen and Matsu is very weak. Chinese experts say that during Chiang Kai Shek's era, Kinmen had over 1 lakh troops, 1 lakh troops, but now it has been reduced to around 3,000 defense personnel only. Similarly, Matsu had over 20,000 stationed troops, but now reduced to only 2,000. Together, these islands would have less than 5,000 troops. So, if CCV mobilizes with several times the number of PL troops, one or two divisions can take care of the islands. As of Taiwan's perspective, Chinese experts speculate that Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party DPP government might be willing to relinquish these two islands. One reason is that these areas are the strongholds of the Kuomintang Party, the KMT Party, not the DPP. The DPP has little support and no electoral base in Kinmen and Matsu, making it more worth clinging to these islands. The second reason is that they are too close to mainland China and too far from Taiwan. This makes it difficult for the Taiwan government to manage them. During Chiang Kai-shek's era, Kinmen and Matsu were heavily fortified for a counter-attack or a potential counter-attack on the mainland. However, the DPP no longer has intention to such a counter-attack on mainland China. Instead, Kinmen and Matsu have become a burden for Taiwan, the Republic of China, and it might be more practical to hand them over to CCP. Without these two islands, Taiwan can streamline its focus and move forward more smoothly towards its goal of independence. Interestingly, Chinese experts say that the CCP and the Taiwan government may orchestrate a conflict involving Kinmen and Matsu. And this strategic move could serve both parties' interests, resulting in a mutually agreeable outcome. However, I believe that Xi Jinping, who is facing domestic and international pressure to relinquish CCP amid reports of possible coup, it could be a disaster for Xi Jinping, as people wait to overthrow the CCP under Xi Jinping. What do you say about this issue? Do write in the comment box. If you want to support content on national defense, please donate via Patreon. The link is given in the description. And don't forget to watch a special series on Xi Jinping starting from 1st September onwards every day at 7 p.m. Subscribe now. Thanks for watching National Defense. Jai Hind. Vande Matra.